Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Ah, this is open now. Just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Well, whatever works, I say. Want to climb it with me? I'll keep watch for Asov's forces. Right. Don't drive off, though. Don't take too long. Easy does it. All right up there? So far, so good.
You're missing all the fun. All three symbols, all in one place. Nice. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Shiva's axe. And behind door number two. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Let's see what's behind the bow door. Fun little jaunt getting to the top of that one. Last but not least, the trident. And another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Was it worth the climb? Definitely. All three symbols up top, each pointing to a different structure. No kidding. So we know where else we need to visit now? Indeed we do. Hold on. Damn it. The rebels took that site. Well, here goes nothing.
clear. Good. Another one. Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. After all that, you found anything? Found another token. Has it got anything to do with the tusk? Don't think so. Well, so long as we visit the other two forts, I'm good. We've got a trident statue now. Looks like it's directing us up to that structure above the falls. Very helpful. Watch it. I think Assault's men have that side too. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. That's very good. Oh, well. Figured if we were looking for his task, I should read up on him. Okay, well, he's a good one to know. You pray to him when you start something new or need to clear your mind of doubts and worry. I've got your back. Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. Watch your turn. Spread out.
spread out and look. That's it. The site's clear. Not bad, Fraser. There's hope for you yet. Thank you. That was intense. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? You look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. About you. That's two. Here's another one. Three down. Found you. Only one left. <laughs> Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Big wheel thing works. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. Nothing. I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. Turn the water on. Well, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> oh. 
Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm a little disappointed about it, Brian. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. <sighs> and off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. <laughs> 